Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can pass nested JSON in PHP. Okay, so I have uh, uh, for demonstration, I have taken a, a big uh, JSON uh, response from uh, a Google map request actually. So we'll be trying to pass this uh, with uh, a simple uh, PHP code so you can call uh, any of uh, the any of the uh, values uh, specifically or you can uh, just give a loop to print all the values okay so so i have my exam server installed in my pc so this is my exam control panel so i have a, a simple php server set up in my pc where uh, i will write my php codes inside the sd doc folder so here we will write uh, the codes for uh, passing the nested uh, nested uh, json actually so if i'm just uh, i have just started that you can see i have just started uh, my server so if i'm just going to local it, it, it will be a page not found exception so i'll be creating an index uh, index.php so we can write uh, our code in that okay so i have uh, created an index.php page so if i'm just opening here and let me write something i'll write my name and saving it here and opening it in my local host browser you can see it's coming there so my php server is running and uh, we can write the code in this page actually so uh, for demonstration i'll be uh, so we will be using a simple p uh, simple uh, json response so let me write the php tag first so what i'm going to do is uh, first create a json response so this is the json response we are going to pass first and uh, we will uh, create a loop so all type of uh, uh, json values can be passed into that function and uh, can have all the values printed okay so first one we have to convert this into this is the this will be the type of response which we are which we are getting from the servers when we are getting uh, giving the request okay so first we have to convert this a into a form of uh, string okay so first i'm going to convert that into a string so let me uh, make it as a single line uh, string first so let me uh, search in google remove empty lines and next lines you can have it free of course from this website actually called beautify.org okay so let me uh, remove take this first and uh, paste we are going to remove uh, line breaks actually take click on line breaks paste your code here and just click on remove yes we have removed the line breaks and uh, we can remove the extra space by from here just paste it to your line breaks here and just click on remove so all the extra spaces has been removed now copy it come back to now uh, let me uh, make a string value with uh, this json which we have uh, uh, we have made now so we can make the string value like this copy all the values inside this okay just paste it here so we have just uh, uh, created a json uh, uh, json as a string value like this okay now uh, to pass uh, the json the first piece uh, create uh, convert this json string into an array so it's also very easy just uh, write the code like this json array and uh, write the code json decode and insert this give this name and give a value true okay now let's see how it looks in a in the string value it will be like this and uh, let me give some extra space here now let's check uh, to to print the json array we'll have to use uh, uh, print r let i'm not sure this will work or not let's see print r i can directly print this like this let's see let's go to now if i am just opening my local host page you can see uh, this should print me uh, the 
two uh, formats so the first one is the uh, string format and second one is the array format of uh, the input we have given okay now what we have to do is if uh, I'll show you how, how we can pass uh, the specific uh, value by uh, specific value uh, from uh, this response so there is a website uh, known as form uh, I just search for format PHP array online so once you get this you will get a website this one Philips tech blog okay just uh, open this and uh, to get a specific value just copy the format of array from here and paste it here code to transform section and just click on beautify and serialize okay now you will get uh, the serialized version or uh, you can see uh, in uh, graphically the serialized version of uh, uh, our request our, our uh, input so if you want to get this uh, specific value from uh, that just click on here copy it from here with the code from here go back to our code and just echo that one here okay that's all so if you want uh, each values you can just uh, uh, take the IP address take the IP address and come back to here and uh, paste it here and what else all the values we can take it like this okay I'm taking the company name from here paste it here and uh, I'll take the city name also from here okay copy the city name and paste it here okay now we can uh, simply echo these values you can see save it now going back to the local host page can find just refresh we have forgot something the name of the array should be this one not the data okay I think you can put it like this save it and go back to the page if I'm just refreshing you can see all the values are getting printed okay so means uh, whatever big it is how big it is you can just uh, uh, copy that uh, uh, array into this page and get the specific values like this okay you can see we have just printed uh, each value one by one okay now uh, if you want to print all at once without being specifically calling uh, one by element one by one you can write a, a recursive function a function here uh, so that it will pass whatever uh, the input value is and call that function recursively from inside so it will print all the values okay so let me write that function and let's try uh, working out that okay yes have uh, written uh, the recursive function now you can call this function like this pass your json array here okay yes that's all let's go to our localhost page and check how it is open it does localhost and you can see it should work i think no unexpected else 29 oh it's not else actually it is echo save it and refresh yes you can see all the values has been printed and uh, it will print for all the uh, even if it's a, a nested file also okay so this is how you can uh, pass the symbol uh, symbol json response now let's uh, look for the uh, the big array which i have shown you this one okay how this is working with this code or not let's see okay yes you can print this even with the, the key value also so it is like you can have to put like this key and now we can print the key also here okay let's see if it's working or not yes now let's see if I'm just going back to our page and refresh, refresh you can see the status code, status message, IP address, all the things are getting printed with uh, the key and value separately, okay? Now as I told, we'll be uh, testing the same code with a nested, uh, a nested JSON response like this, okay? Now we'll be, we'll keep this code as it is. We'll create one more page in the xtdoc folder and uh, work out in that, okay? So I'll create one more page as uh, index.1 index1.php okay. So this was our JSON uh, 
response which we are trying to pass so let me copy this completely and the same way which we have done before uh, we will uh, remove the empty lines remove line breaks and uh, empty line uh, next line so paste it here click on remove and uh, copy it from here and remove extra space paste it here and just click on remove okay that's all copy it completely from here go on to index one dot PSD and paste inside this one so it will be like yep paste it here paste okay so it will be all in the same line yes that's all save it now this won't be there because uh, there is no status code IP address everything just remove it okay yes I believe everything is fine let's save this now let's try in our local host uh, index dot one how it is looking so this local host page and uh, if it's writing index one dot txt and just enter yes you can see it passed completely with each and every value in that okay so it is exactly as uh, the request which we have uh, given to pass okay it's exactly as it is so i have shown you how you can pass a nested json how big it is you can pass with this uh, just uh, with this function uh, request display request uh, array request you can just copy paste this function and pass your json uh, as a string uh, like this okay so hope you got this if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll try to help you so in my next video i'll show you how you can send an http request and get the response from the server and pass it as per uh, the response okay so please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching